<laughs> well, hey everybody. I hope you've had a great summer. I'm uh, Mr. Tyler over here and here's my daughter Jane. I am so excited to do some art with you again. It's been almost, feels like a whole year since we've got to do some art together. And you know what? The coronavirus is still happening and we are still at home. And so we're gonna do have some fun this week doing some art with uh, an artist. Do you know the artist's name, Jane? Yeah, Andre. Matisse. Andre Matisse looks kind of like Henry. Pretty sure you pronounce that Andre, right? Andre Matisse. So let's talk about Andre Matisse. Hopefully you've already seen the PowerPoint and you've done your worksheet. So that was the first video and we're now going to put together um, our own little Andre Matisse Art, and we're going to do a sea landscape. So a little bit about this artist. He loved using what's called abstract shapes. And so we're going to use only scissors, paper, and glue. Not even a pencil on this one. In the worksheet earlier, you used pencil, but that was just practice because Henri loved to just make shapes. And so it doesn't have to look perfect. You're going to make a fish, but just out of some wavy lines, you're going to make some seaweed and whatever shape comes out with your scissors and your paper you're going to find a way to use it on your page uh, which is a great way to practice being uh, creative and, and then a couple other things about Henri he really loved really joyful colorful uh, artwork and so actually one of the things that he's known for is he would come and just cover whole walls with this style of art just to make people excited and happy and joyful, right? Uh, and he would, he would love especially to give his artwork to people that were sick, that were sad, and, and so, you know, maybe for uh, your family or grandparents or parents or friends, you're gonna actually think, you know, I could make something just to make someone's day brighter and uh, make them happy, and that's what Henri Matisse loved to do. Uh, so, hopefully you have your scissors, uh, some sort of glue. I've got a glue stick and glue here and some paper. So we're going to have a long piece of black paper, right? And let's see, Jane, do you know we're going to put this vertical or horizontal? Um, horizontal? Yes, horizontal, right in front of you there. And we're going to work from the bigger to the littler. So we're going to start with blue. In a little bit, we're going to do something with the green. And then we, you should have a red and an orange. We're going to do that later. And what we're making today is an ocean scene. So think ocean. So we're going to put a couple fish, some seaweed under the sea. It's going to be nice and bright and joyful and colorful, right? Okay, so I would take, let's see, let's start with our blue and put it the same horizontal, kind of right about center in your page. Uh, and you know, you can actually decide, there's a couple of options right now, you could just leave it right like this, but you could also make it a little more wavy. He really likes wavy lines, uh, and so whenever we can, we're gonna make our scissors wave like this instead of straight, jagged lines, right? And so I'm gonna take my blue, and here, Jane, on the long part, on the long part of your blue, start maybe just a, an inch or so in, and just make a wavy line that waves up all the way to the end there. Let's try that. Can you do this? So I'm gonna just cut it like this. Just make it a little wavy. Yeah, that's right. So this is gonna just make it a little, however you wanna do it. So now look, I have Nice wavy line. I'll put it on the yellow. You can see a little better. And I even have this. And here's another thing Henri Matisse likes to do. He tries to use as much of his scraps as he can. So let's save this piece because I think we could use it. And again, here's some choices. You can leave it just like this. As James doing that, I'm going to actually do it on the other long side as well. Because, you know, the sea, when I look at the sea, it's always pretty wavy. So this one, I'm going to do maybe a big wave. Just a little like that. So 
So now I have three pieces, just like that. I'm going to give you a chance to finish cutting yourself. Good job, Jane. those fingers. Oh, you're almost there. Very, very good. All right, so let's put your page kind of right in the middle, the biggest piece kind of right in the middle of your page. And you can decide if you want to use your scraps. I'm going to kind of put one scrap down here to the side and one of my scraps may be up here on the other side, so you can kind of see that. Yeah, that would work too. Yeah, just something like this. Just to kind of give it a little, some color here and there. And then, then you can take, this one we can, we can actually glue right now. The other pieces we're going to kind of arrange before we glue, but let's get our C down. You want to use this one? Okay, you use this one, and I will use the glue stick. So let's glue page and especially if you're using a glue bottle like Jane just use a few dots you don't want to go overload on the glue or else it's going to be hard to glue stuff on top so put just a little bit of glue and maybe a thin line or a couple dots all the way around the edge whatever whatever you think so I'm going to do this Yeah, that'll stick on there. So then kind of press it all down. And let's see here. So as Jane's finishing that, I'll show you what I did. It's a little hard to see the blue on the black, but hopefully you can see kind of what I did. You have some C with the black there, and it's definitely kind of abstract because it's right now it's just a bunch of shapes, but in a little bit it's gonna look like we are under water. Pretty cool. Okay, and I'm going to glue that, that top one. There first, Jane. Jane, your, yours looks like uh, your your C has bigger waves. Your C has lots, lots of waves right now. Flip that over. It can go anywhere. You want it right on the top? Here, I'll, I'll help you. Right above, like up on the top of the page? Oh, very nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, that's like clouds about to rain down. I like that. See what Jane said? So Jane put hers right up on top. And she says that top makes her think of clouds about to rain. I like that. Okay, let's start. Let's do the the green. Seaweed. What are we gonna make out of the green? Seaweed. Seaweed. Okay, I think we might be able to make at least five. Pe Hold on, Jane. I think we can make at least five pieces of seaweed with this. And here's how. Hold it vertically so the the long edge is straight up and down, not this, not horizontal. Vertically this time. And let's make one, two, three, four wavy lines. And they can kind of be big waves. Uh, so uh, maybe about, oh, 
an inch in, like maybe a, a finger's length in, and start one. Go up, wavy, 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 all the way to the end. Let that fall. There we go. Very nice. And maybe a little thicker next time, Jane. Let's go over a little bit more. Maybe like, you know, one, one finger length in. Don't cut your finger though. And then start again. And then let's do another wave. You can kind of follow the same line or you can make it different. All the way to the top. And let it drop. To the top and let it drop. And let's see, I think I can do that two more times. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do one. And maybe. There you go. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. So let's see, you've done one, two. Do two more cuts on this big piece so that you have. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, two more, maybe a little thicker. Go in, go in a little bit more. Yeah, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. We'll start to arrange our seaweed just a little bit. Very nice. Ooh. Cool. You want, to make, you want to make one more? Yeah. So while Jane's cutting out her last piece of seaweed, I ended up with five. You might think, you know what, I could make even more. I could make, I could make a couple more uh, if you do thinner strips like Jane or thicker strips like me. And you can see sometimes I made my waves really wavy. Sometimes I made my waves a little gentler. And what I'm going to do on my page, so if your page is horizontal, I'm going to start arranging my seaweed up and down like this. I'm going to put one, kind of maybe one right on the edge, maybe one coming down from the top and it won't hit all the way to the bottom. One coming up from the bottom and it won't hit all the way to the top. And one, I don't know, right in the middle. This one is like here. I like that. So wait, I would let's not glue just yet because I have a little trick for later. Let's just put all of our seaweed out, however you think you like it. These two all for seaweed to hold on. Oh yeah. Nice. And you, this could be just a big piece of seaweed. Even over here on the edge, what do you think? That's like. Yeah, well, that's gonna look great. The Seattle is like. Okay. So before we glue, let's make some animals, and this is where we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna make one big animal, sea animal here, and then we're gonna try to use some of the scraps because Matisse used all the scraps. So what kind of animal do you think we could make out of this orange? piece of paper. Fish. A fish. Okay, and again, this is this is where it might get a little tricky because we don't have pencils. Because Matisse didn't use pencils. Jane's just going for it. I'm gonna try to visualize. Let's see, a fish kind of looks like yeah, there's like a big piece here and a and a fin. Okay, I'm gonna try and make a fish out of this. I think I'm gonna do this. Maybe from the edge and that picture, if you did it like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you have your PowerPoint, 
from earlier, there are some examples there, so you could look at that. Well, we had a little glitch there. You might have lost a couple seconds, I'm not sure. Uh, but here we are, we're cutting out our fish, and let's let's show them what we made. So we got some nice orange fish. You know, we could we could turn this, let's see, we could even, if you want, cut a little triangle out right about there. Or what does that look like? It's mouth. A little mouth. And save this for later. Okay. We can put it on a wet fish for the eye. Ooh, you're very smart. I like that a lot. All right, and we're gonna make two fish, do you think? A red fish and an orange fish? Does that sound good to you, Jane? Yeah. Yeah, let's make a red fish and an orange fish. So same thing, I'm going to make a little mouth, save that piece, Ooh, I'm glad this happened, Jane. Watch. Go ahead and cut it all out. I'm going to show you a trick. I think it's going to work just fine. This is one reason why I love doing art like this, because really there's no mistakes. So Jane cut out her fish, but her fish looks like it kind of lost a tail. Well, you know what? When you put it on the paper, you're just going to glue that tail right next to the fish, and no one will ever know. So you could just, even if this happens, just glue it right like that, and there you go. So, so now I have two little triangles because I made these mouths, and so I'm going to switch colors on my orange fish. I think if I put the red triangle right about there on my paper, I can make a little eye. Same thing with the red fish. So, now Jane, this is why I didn't have us glue down the seaweed before because sometimes fish like to swim in and out of the seaweed so you can decide you can kind of lift up a piece you can put your fish right up here and then let the seaweed kind of cover part of the fish like it's hiding you can do the same thing maybe I'm gonna put my other fish down here and I'm gonna put it over one piece of seaweed and I don't know maybe under it's kind of starting to swim under another piece of seaweed I don't know if you can see that, but you can kind of play around with how you think you want your fish to be swimming in and out of the seaweed, and if you want some eyes on there. And now, we can get to work gluing. So, are you ready? So, maybe pick up, yeah, pick up some pieces and just go ahead and glue those down. And whatever was further on the bottom, I need to glue first. So here, I'm gonna, my seaweed is over my fish, so I need to glue my fish first, because otherwise I won't be able to get it underneath the seaweed. So I'm gonna glue the fish down. I'm gonna glue, glue an eye on that little fish. Then I'm gonna glue some seaweed on top of the fish. Hi, little fish. All right, now here I have seaweed underneath one, the tail of my fish, so I'm going to glue that seaweed first. Then, let's see, I'm going to glue my fish on top of that seaweed. Give him a little eyeball. Then I got another piece of seaweed, and I think this one is going to go over him. And last 
piece of seaweed. So while Jane keeps gluing hers on, I want to say one last, like this on it, actually, if you decide you're done, well, this looks pretty good. I think I like, I like my, my joyful fish swimming in and out of the seaweed, but I actually have some scraps still. And I think these scraps could still be used. Maybe I could make a nice colorful piece of coral, like a little sea plant. I could even... I could even put them like this, kind of just glue them down there as like a nice little sea plant. Maybe I will do that. But first, what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to cut a little, I don't know, a starfish out of one of them. Yeah, it's going to look fun. I'm going to cut a starfish out of one of mine. Yeah. Oh, this one. Try and cut a little starfish. Well, I tried to cut a star without a pencil, and it looks like something else. Maybe a sea anemone? Anyway, I'm going to put that on my page. That's a sea anemone. Yeah. I'm going to maybe make one more really quick. Yeah. So go ahead and keep gluing, Jane. Okay, so yeah, I have like some sea anemones, some starfish, maybe a little sea rock. And I dropped my sea rock. There it is. And I think I'm going to just kind of put my pieces together and turn it into a piece of coral. So I'm going to glue this really quick and then show you and then let you continue to work on yours. Sea anemones there, I think a little sea rock over here, and a nice fun piece of coral right here. Look at that. Yeah, so Jane will, Jane will keep gluing, and um, one last thing I just wanted to show you earlier we were practicing Matisse's style of using cutouts and cut, push, putting it onto paper. And I wanted to show you, you, when you get to know this style, you can do this in all different ways. Here's something Jane did earlier. Jane just did a nice cutout of a smiley face, put it on this paper here. It's a and it black was, paper and I used a yellow, and I cut circles and a smiley face. Yeah, see? So you could do this in so many, you can make C, landscapes, you could make smiley faces, you could do anything else. You could make cars or a playground, uh, lots of things. So uh, after you practice with your ocean scene, maybe you want to keep doing this with all scraps of paper around your house. Well, thanks everyone. I hope this was really fun. Jane's going to keep going. I think we're going to try to post these later, and I, I would love to see some of yours posted on Facebook. Uh, I think that's the best place to do that. And uh, yeah, hope you're having fun. Maybe make one of these and give it to someone who needs to be cheered up, who needs a little joy in their life. So thanks again. I'm going to wave goodbye.